All right, we are back in the channel. I've been a bit busy preparing for the upcoming road trip and other stuff as well. Some bits and bobs that I'm trying to sort out before I go away. So, yeah. Today's video is going to be a testing of the Diana Mini. This is like the little sister to the Diana F. See, look at that. And then you can also use the flash to like put it on that. There's like a port there. So it's so cute. All right. So it looks like that. And it's like a smaller version. So this one is the 120 film medium format size Diana F Plus and this one's the Diana Mini that uses the 35mm canisters, you know, the film that you see everywhere. I've got two of them but I'll tell you the story why I have these two in a bit. But first let's have a look at the photos. I shot these photos in different locations. One where I took my auntie who was visiting from Italy um, to Araluen Botanic Garden and then another one when we went strawberry picking and I can't remember the third one. There were three places that we went to when I was like using this camera. But yeah, <laughs> it's a very all over the place kind of picture taking day. Oh, I think it was the beach. <laughs> um, so yeah, I shot um, the photos in the half frame setting, which is a 24 by 17 um, setting Meaning, you know, like the normal size photo, it's like in half So you get two photos in one frame And if you have a 36 exposure roll, then you'll get 36 times 2 is 72 shots <laughs> I'm very bad at math, I think. But yeah, you get double the shot. So if you have a 24 exposure film, then you'll get 48. So I chose that setting because I, I just wanted more photos. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look at these photos. And I hope you guys enjoy. That's my auntie, the nun. She's also vlogging and she's in my vlog. Say hi! Hi! Hi, hi. I'm the blow burn. <laughs> See? She's also doing a vlog. I was doing my vlog, my own vlog. Nun the vlogger. <laughs> vlogger the nun. <laughs> Okay. 
Nawa. Lagi yang bulak lagi. Oh. Bapa sah. Nawa. Kau dah kira yang? Sige. Bellflower. We hold it because it is ready. <laughs> it's doing by itself. And those are all the photos that I took with the Diana Mini. So now the story of why I have two of these. So this one I have retired because I have no idea why the shutter on the inside of the camera stays open. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that. See? It's open. If I use this camera to take a photo, the shutter stays open like that and it lets light in and exposes the film even though I'm not using it. And I've used probably four films through and these are the photos that came out when I used this one. It was a really sad thing for me because I was really excited for this one because I thought this was going to be my favorite camera because of its compact small nature which you can just carry all around and you can shoot in two formats so there's the square format that you just switch this way and the half frame format which you just switch this way. The amazing thing about this is that I don't have to carry around masks so if I want to have a square format it comes out this way but if I want to go half frame format I just flip the switch and frames just come out of this section here I generally like shooting in half frame format because well it doubles the amount of your exposure so if you have a 24 exposure film you get 48 photos more photos, more fun, and more memories. <laughs> with regard to the problem with this one, at first I thought, uh, probably that happened because I don't have a lens cap to go with it, because when I bought it, it didn't come with a lens cap. So I scoured Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace and came across this white one here, and it came with a lens cap. This was $10 with a free 
expired three pack of film and this was $30 without the lens gap but with the box and instructions and the book so as soon as I got the white one I just put the lens cap on like this I mean white goes with anything so it, it, it was all right but then the photos still turned out the way they they did so it's a problem with the shutter of this one and I have researched on the internet that apparently it is a common problem for the dianemone which is such a sad thing because I was thinking now that I have these maybe I could load one with color film and then the other one with maybe black and white film or have two color films at one so that you know I don't have to keep switching films and I can just when I finish this one I can just whip this out and I'd have pretty much the same quality of photo but sadly I had to retire this one and this just sits in my shelf as a display piece it is very pretty and I'm really sad but I also like the white one it's the same thing <laughs> So as you may have seen with the different photos that I have showed you, not the bad ones but the good ones towards the beginning of this video, it's a very Diana-esque look because this is the little sister to the Diana F+. It really does look like you are shooting with um, a Diana camera, which these, but it's just a different smaller format. I guess there really is a learning curve with focusing. Um, pretty much new at this I'm an amateur and some of the like close-up shots just weren't focused at all just like the strawberry one and some of the flowers they they didn't look very focused at all but if I use this camera with just the four meters to infinity setting like the arrows pointing on this one it takes pretty good photos so if you are looking to purchase this camera, the Diana Mini, I would suggest you purchase from an actual Lomography store. I mean, I bought these secondhand, but you know how things are with secondhand items. You can't really tell which ones work or not. But if you really want to save some money and if it doesn't work, you can just like return it and they'll replace it for you or fix it for you for free, then buy it from the official Lomography website. But if you get lucky and get a really good one, I really like this camera if you enjoy half frame formats or square formats. And it's very handy and it comes with a strap. You can just put it around your neck and go take photos. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for sticking by me as I have dabbled into film photography. Don't worry, the travel vlogs will be back soon for sure. There will be three more film photography videos coming soon. And after that, it's going to be all travel vlogs. Thank you for your patience and I shall see you next time. Bye.